when you move in here's my list of my 15 things that i am telling y'all to bring to college because you're gonna need it number one a foam mattress you want to make sure that you get in the best sleep possible so you need to make sure that you have a foam mattress because the 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 mattress that they give you at the dorms are very stale so you want to have something on top and, and it's gonna give you some comfort, you feel me? So foam mattress, I'm gonna add in, uh, I bought foam pillows. Foam pillows are good too. You're gonna be in your dorm a lot. Like you're gonna be basically, if you're living on campus, you're gonna be living in that room. So you wanna make sure that your bed is comfortable. Sleep is important in college. Two, dos. You wanna make sure that you have a stepping stool. If you're short, like me, and I'm 5'4", the beds at college are usually tall to give you space underneath your bed. You want to make sure that you have a stepping stool because a lot of the time I be trying to jump up on my bed and I end up messing up the sheets. I end up doing the most because I'm trying to pull at the side of the bed. And you know, for them nights where you get a little lit, you gonna need that stool because it's going to be hard for you to get back in your bed. Number three, you want to make sure that you bring AirPods or any type of headphones that have some type of noise cancellation. <laughs> Why do I say this? You want to make sure that you got something to, to listen to while you walking to class. If you're an introvert like me, I like to wear my headphones when I'm in the gym, when I'm in the calf, when I'm walking to class, when a uh, class is about to start and the teacher's not talking, when class is over and I'm about to walk out. I just like to have headphones in my ear all the time because it kind of brings me in the zone and you kind of going to go nuts. Everybody on campus be having their headphones. So make sure you got your headphones. <laughs> Incoming freshman. Mary Baldwin, full ride, yeah. All right, anyway, anyway, <clears throat> number four, you want to have shower shoes and Crocs. The Crocs will be for when you're walking around the dorm room, don't get nothing cute and fuzzy. The dorm rooms and the halls be dirty as hell. So you wanna make sure that you get Crocs and you use the Crocs to walk around your dorm room or use the Crocs to walk around the hallway. If you're getting back and forth to the bathroom, have some Crocs. And um, when you're using the bathroom, most likely as a freshman, you're going to have a community bathroom. So you want to make sure that you got shower slides. Do not get into the shower with your bare feet. And I'm going to say this again for the people in the back. Don't get in the shower with your bare feet. Everybody uses that shower. You don't know who you're, who you're bathing with. You don't know how often they're cleaning these bathrooms. And mo most of the time they clean them probably every morning. But you know how many people are using the bathroom until the next day where they got to clean it in the morning? Like, you don't want to, you don't, just don't do it. Just don't do it. Number five, a laundry basket or a cart. Now, for me, I live in an apartment style living. So I use a cart to bring my uh, clothes back and forth. But when I was a freshman, the laundry room was not inside the building. The laundry room was like downstairs around the corner type. So you got to bring your clothes outside. You want to make sure that you got a laundry basket to bring your clothes back and forth and from the laundry, I mean, from the uh, dryer to the washer, you wanna make sure that you have a cart to transport your clothes from upstairs, downstairs, wherever you might be at, because you don't wanna be carrying all your clothes in the dirty clothes bag and it's heavy as hell. Just bring a cart or a laundry basket. <clears throat> Number six, bring a throw blanket. You wanna bring your throw blanket? Well, I feel like the throw blanket is, is necessary because when you have your dorm room bed all made up, it's, anybody who's in college knows it's hard to make up your bed. If your bed is on the wall, it's it's a little difficult to make up your bed and it's, and it's high up. So I use a throw blanket throughout the day instead of getting all the way underneath my covers. And plus the throw blanket could go on top of your bed for when your company comes to your room. If people come into your room and you are raised in a, in a proper household where you really don't let people sit on your bed with their outside clothes on, you're gonna wanna have a throw blanket because there might not be nowhere else for them to sit and people might just start sitting on your bed. Um, Number seven, a raincoat, rain boots, and an umbrella. When it rains, you still have to go to class and at least bring an umbrella because Trust me, it gets hectic sometimes when you be in class and it start pouring down raining and you live all the way on the other side of campus, your book bag's wet, your ba your books is wet, your everything is wet, everything is soaking wet. So you wanna make sure that you bring a 
raincoat, rain boots, umbrella, whatever you got, make sure you bring it. Be prepared for the weather because trust me, you're going to be walking a lot. I lost count. Uh, the next one is, okay, 10, 10, we're on 10. Uh, bring your favorite snacks or your favorite comfort food. I say this because you may be on a campus and as a freshman, you cannot drive your car anywhere. You can't even bring your car on campus. So you want to make sure that before you even go to college and you're going grocery shopping with your family, yeah, it's good to pack that stuff that you could cook, but you're not going to really be cooking. Pack some snacks. You can't go to the corner store. Like if you're from the city like me, you can't go downstairs to the corner store and get you a bag of Cheetos or get you a candy or get you this or get you that. So when you're there, make sure you rack up on all your comfort foods because you're not going to be able to eat none of that when you're at college, depending on where you are and what your classification may be. I'm talking to the freshmen. Grab your comfort snacks when you're shopping for your decoration and all those things. 11, bring some decoration. Now, if you're not too heavy on the decorating, cool. But if you want to feel more comfortable in your room, you want to get you some LED lights, some curtains, you want to get a rug, you feel me? You want to get all these things that, you know, make your dorm room nice. Next, we have um, do a broom and a dustpan. Like, it's very important. I don't think people understand, like, you're going to have to clean your dorm room. No one cleans your dorm room for you. And a lot of time when I was in school, uh, people would ask me, can they borrow my broom or borrow my mop? I don't you have a broom and a mop. You have to clean your floors constantly. You, you don't have, like, at school, it's easy for your, your floors to get dirty because people are coming from outside and you're inviting people over. They're, they may be spilling drinks. They may be dropping this or dropping that. Make sure you bring your, uh, your broom and your dustpan so that you can clean up your room. Make sure you bring cleaning utensils. Everything that you use to clean your room at home, bring double that to school because you got extra people in your room. You got mad stuff going on. You got you got your dirty outside clothes on. Make sure you bring some Lysol, hand sanitizer. Make people wipe their hands down, bro. It's still COVID time. So bring your cleaning utensils. And don't be afraid to deep clean your room. Like really get in there for it. That's going to be your room for the next year. So make sure you, you yeah, handle that. A backpack. I know, and this is for the girls. I know y'all probably want to wear y'all bags. Like we do in high school. You know, a lot of girls wear a side purse. You're going to get tired of wearing that side purse when you get to college because you got mad textbooks, fat textbooks in your bag. You got your journals. You got your laptop. You're not going to want to carry that on your your shoulder and walk for that amount of time every day like that. So I feel like if you're going to bring a, 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 a shoulder bag, you know, bring something like a tote. Yeah, you could you could do like a little tote or something. Depends on who you may be or what class you might be taking. But me personally... I was wearing uh, shoulder bags the whole like first two years that I was in college. And then once I got to my junior year, I'm like, nah, I started ordering book bags. So I'm like, I'm not carrying all of this. I got all these textbooks, my laptop heavy as hell. I got my phone in there, chargers, all this stuff is just packed. And the book bag gives me more support so that I could get to the classes that I need to get to without my arm hurting. So consider getting you a nice backpack, whatever brand you may like, whatever color. People in college do not care about your brand of backpack. I just really don't suggest getting spray grounds. You are grown. Leave those at home. X. Um, air plugs or uh, your candles or your air purifier. Sometimes stuff be smelling a little strange. You live with people that you don't know. Most of the time you have a roommate. So do you do you get your air plug, uh, put, put the air fresheners in the wall, get your humidifier, air purifier, whatever you may need, um, and get your, uh, your, your spray cans for the scent. You want to make sure that you're spraying out your room. And if you're like a, um, if you smoke and you smoking in your room, make sure that you have air fresheners. Cause like, trust me, you're going to need the air freshener. You don't want your room to smell like a big cigarette. Get, get you an air freshener. Uh, the next one is an iPad with the key, like the keyboard to go to the iPad. If you don't use laptops, you have an iPad. I really suggest that if you want to use your iPad to take notes, get you the keyboard that attached to your iPad. So you don't want to have like, um, just sitting there trying to type everything. It's faster. It's easier for you to have that keyboard. And the last thing that I suggest for you to bring, if you are going to college is over the counter medications. Like I said, again, not all of the time, the health services, the nurses and them are going to be able to help you with your issues at the time that you may need it. If you're a female, make sure you rack up on ibuprofen, 
uh make sure you racking up on any medicine that you take while you have your period because it may be difficult for you to get to that type of medicine at a certain time of the night at the college that you're going to if you are somebody who just naturally has to take certain medications rack up on those medications before you get to college don't go there thinking oh i'm not gonna need it you're gonna end up needing that aspirin you're gonna end up needing that ibuprofen that, that all of that pain medicine all of that medicine that you need to, when you get sick you're gonna need you're gonna need day quill night quill you're gonna need whatever and you can't be on like bed rest you still got to get up and go to class you still got to take care of yourself get you that tea get you whatever you need to feel better make sure you get that now you have any ideas yeah what tell them tell them about not wanting to give up because it might feel like you wouldn't give up okay so another thing that i feel like you must have when you're going to college is persistence and determination you do not want to give up on your dreams, your goals, nothing. Don't lose faith. Don't 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 start freezing up once it starts getting hard cuz trust me, you're going to hit a point where it's getting hard. You're going to have what what's that Spider-Man thing everybody keeps talking about a canon event? That's how you say it, canon or canon? Canon or canon event? However, y'all know what I'm talking about. You're going to have that event that's going to have you sitting there like, well, "Yo, do I even want to be here?" 20 times out of 10, if you really sat here for this amount of years in high school and you thought about going to college, this is probably where you really want to be. Don't give up. Don't stop. Don't don't get to a point where you stop going to class. Don't get to a point where you stop taking care of yourself. Stop eating, getting depressed. Really try to make sure that you get up every day and you go to that class. You, you talk to that professor. You let them know what's going on. Don't never lose hope while you're in school. Another essential that I feel like you should have if you are going to an HBCU, bring all your clothes. <laughs> I'm not going to cap. Bring all your clothes, bring all your sneakers, bring all your purses, all your bags, all your everything. Because they be having mad different events and you really never know what you may or may not need. So bring everything. Uh, that being said, that is my list. Um, I hope that this was helpful to any uh, freshmen that are going into college or any Lincoln students that may be going and they're confused on what they should bring or what they should not bring. Uh, this is my list of must haves. So if you don't have these things already, add these things to your list and we will see you when you get to campus. And for everybody who's not going to Lincoln, have a good, um, uh, have a good time at your, uh, have a good first semester. And make sure that you like, comment if there was anything that was confusing or you have any questions about anything and subscribe if you're not already and i will see you guys in two days okay